Hey Cooper, how do you like that new Jay Maska signature Telecaster from Fender? I mean, uh, I can see myself playing this. <laughs> Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for our custom designed t-shirts, like the two new shirts that we are wearing today. And we are looking at the new Fender Signature model, J Maskus Telecaster from the Dinosaur Junior guitar player. Now, what's interesting about this, this almost feels full circle. Do you remember the very first video oh, yeah. that you ever did for our channel mm -hmm. was in a creaky old lesson room mm -hmm. um, on a J Mask. It was on the Squire Jazzmaster, right? Yeah, uh, one of the, you know, it set the trajectory of my life. First of all, <laughs> I never thought six years later I'd be sitting here doing the same thing, but I really liked that guitar. It's it was a very popular model when mm -hmm. it was available. Do they still make that guitar? Uh, <laughs> just like everything else right now, to the extent that we can get them in stock, yeah, I think they do. I, yeah, it's weird. Because we still get them. One. We still yeah. get them. From I haven't seen one in a bit, but that, in terms of signature models, Squire price level, it's it was like the perfect kind of thing. It was a jazz master, made some cool changes, cool finish and pit guard. This is cool because it's. A Fender. It's not. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not in the Squire line, and um, you know, I think of a Jazzmaster when I think of him. So this was a little, uh, you know, counterintuitive. I guess. Yeah. Outside the wheelhouse. Mixed me up a little bit because I just saw on the new product list, J Mask's signature Fender. I was like, oh, they're doing a Jazzmaster in the Fender factory. No, it's a <laughs> Tele. Um, but it's cool. Yeah, it's really it's different and it's yeah. it's neat. You know. So you think this video will get as many views as that old video? No. Which is crazy how many views that video has. It's, yeah. My favorite thing in that video is everyone's like, man, this guitar sounds really good. And then half the other comments are like, no, it's the guy playing the guitar. And granted, it, it is a great guitar, but it's also the guy playing the guitar. That's very nice. That was a very young Cooper Green. That was, that was short hair. That was short version. hair, Cooper Green. Yeah. Now uh, I have long hair like Jay Mascus, so it's, <laughs> like, it all works together. So this is based upon, according to Fender, one of his favorite guitars, which is a 1958 top-loaded Telecaster. Uh, of course, I don't think they offered Blue Sparkle mm. in uh, 58 on the Tele, uh, but definitely very cool. You want to run down some of the specs for us? Well, it's funny because before I even knew that it was based on a 50s Tele, the neck, the neck tells gives you it away. Yeah. It is a baseball bat of a neck. I like those necks. I really like it, yeah. I like chunky necks. I don't know about you watching at home. There was a time when I thought that I wanted th like a thin neck on everything. Like that's yeah. preferable, right? The thinner the better. Yeah. And I think it was the first time I grabbed like a 52 reissue telly and it had that U-shaped neck. I was like, you know, this is actually really comfy. It's, it's more comfy than you'd think because it like conforms to your hand. You're not have to... You don't have to crunch your hand up. There's no, know? yeah, there's not space. Yeah. You know, where you're just mashing your fingers down with your thumb trying to give you support. Yeah. The neck just gives you more because there's more wood there. And yeah. I've, over the years, increasingly become used to more wood in my hand. So, um, I, all of my electric guitars, except for a few, are all now chunky neck stuff. This so. is monetized. You have to chill out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cool signature on the back. So, I think you were, you told me the neck is a road worn neck, like in the road worn line. neck, yeah. road worn hardware. Yeah, so vintage style tuners, not vintage style finish on the body, and a mirror pit guard, and kind of a interesting. It's like a blade, mm -hmm. uh, you know, three way switch in the middle. The pickups are out of phase, right? Which just an interesting choice, you know. It is an interesting choice. Uh, what is it? The less was it Peter Green's Les Paul was like that kind of gave him that quintessential sound. Yeah. Um, and, you know, what Jay Maskus is doing with Dinosaur Jr. is often these kind of vintage style guitars. And I, I really, I'm a fan of how he does it, right? It's, it's basic low output pickups. It's not high gain stuff. And he just runs it through a bunch of like muffs and overdrives and stuff to get this insane, yeah. crunchy, thick sound. Um, I think that's the way you do it. It's very cool. Um, if you haven't seen his videos, I, he's done a few, I think maybe with reverb, I could be wrong, uh, talking about how he likes to stack 
petals mm -hmm. and fuzzes because most people would think if you put two big muffs in a row, it's just noise, You're but right. it's very melodic, cool sound. The thing is with the middle position on here being the two pickups out of phase, uh, there is a, a little volume loss. Mm -hmm. It's significant volume loss. It, the, the quintessential tone of that is like this thin sound. Very thin, quacky. I, I'm trying to visualize what it sounds like to me. It's hard to describe, but you know the sound when I you hear it. I call it the skinny duck. The skinny duck and um, the skinny duck sound But if is, you put two big muffs, it's a skinny duck wearing an overcoat. Yeah, like a real <laughs> fur coat, <laughs> like a mink or something. Um, really lends well to something that you're gonna sort of augment the sound with the pedals. Yeah. Um, but either one, the neck or the bridge by themselves, nice full volume, I mean, just clean, pretty tone, so. And these are interesting pickups. They're Fender pickups, but mm -hmm. they're J-Mask specific custom pickups. Um, it's got the top load on the bridge, yeah, which interesting. You know, a lot of tele aficionados will tell you that it really changes, again, there's nothing on the back, so that top load bridge changes kind of the tension on the strings, particularly as they go over the saddles and they're the brass barrel type saddles in this particular case. Um, and so the feel's just a bit different and how the strings are gonna respond um, are going to be a little bit different. But yeah, it's a cool guitar um, and I've enjoyed playing it. It's a little, I mean, a lot of it to me, I don't, I, I understand a lot of it. I don't understand mirror pit guards on any guitar. Okay, totally not Fender related, but I'm gonna blast back to the 90s. And it's funny, I was looking at these the other day. There were guitars and musicians friend catalogs back in the day called Blade Guitars. They're made by Levinson over in Europe. And they were Strat style and they had this particular one that is kind of like this hun transparent honey color. And it had That's a cool. mirrored pit guard. I wanted that so much as a 17-year-old. So I st actually still want one of those guitars. I cruise reverb for them every once in a while. It's so. uh, I think it depends. It works. It, I, th I mean, it's cool. The thing is, there's a few guitars that have had mirrors on them that we've seen. Jimmy Page, mm -hmm. Signature Telly. Not the pit guard, but it comes with, the mirrors, you yeah. know, you can put mirrors on it. I saw that the Adam Jones mm -hmm. Les Paul comes with a mirror that you can put on the headstock. Got to reflect those stage lights back in blind people. I guess so, yeah. Tool has one of the coolest light shows, so I guess that's it, yeah. part of it. It's all about stage presence. It's all yeah. about, yeah. So this is a very stage present guitar. But, of course, got to add some overdrive. I don't have big muffs in here. I don't have boutique fuzzes. I'm going to add some of the overdrive. You mean you're on. not Jay Mascus? No. no. Okay. But yeah. this is going to be Cooper Greenberg playing a Jay Mascus guitar. Yeah. Uh, so... Let's check it out.
So there you have it. There's the demo by one Cooper Greenberg not trying to sound like Jay Mascus, which is a refreshing take on a signature model mm. because uh, if you buy the guy's guitar, it doesn't necessarily mean you sound like him. Uh, little spoiler alert. Very cool guitar, though. I dig the finish. Where are these made? Um, these are made... Are these made in Mexico? Check the... These are made in Mexico. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I wasn't sure because it wasn't on the headstock if it was made in Mexico or Japan. But made in Mexico, comes with a gig bag, about $1,500 range. Very cool guitar. It is a cool guitar. J Mask, Chris. Ah! How's it going, guys? Um, yeah, no, it's cool. Comfortable neck. I like the road-worn neck. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of this Jason Isbell, Telecaster, road-worn neck. It just feels comfortable. Um, no stickiness. No sticky. It's somewhat, it feels worn in, but it doesn't, you know, it's still new. It's nice. And it goes well with the shape, the U shape. I, I really like it. That's my favorite part about the guitar. I think maybe my thoughts would change on the out of phase position if I had some pedals to play it's around with. It's a little too with. thin for you. It's a little thin, and I think you can probably tell. However, when it goes, into the overdrive, it sounds really, really nice. I, you know, I'll, I'll say this about some of those setups, because I've got a Baja Tele. It's got the out of phase you can do in two different positions. I don't use it a ton, but when you're experimenting with sounds like that, particularly with different effects, I've accidented, you know, I kind of stumbled upon yeah. a really cool sound that works for certain songs. It reminds me of like Dire Straits, you know, yeah. so money for nothing, the sounds that they're getting on that are not not your typical kind of straight ahead sounds from just being in position. It's playing around with stuff. Yeah. And so I think some of these positions like that would definitely be cool. Um, so, you know, yeah. buy it with that knowledge that it's, you know, it is out of phase. You could have some cool stuff. You might not like it. Maybe you're in a dinosaur cover band and you need the sound. Yeah, and also the two pickups on their own Great. do sound really, really nice, full and thick. Um, if you're looking for a telly because you want the in between both on sound. This isn't gonna give you the classic telly sound, but it'll give you a really cool sound. So. I think if you're looking for a telly with a lot of personality and stage presence, yeah, this, this might is be definitely one. got yeah. a lot of personality and stage Get presence. Get your lasers ready, because <laughs> you're gonna be blinding some cats in the audience. Oh, my retina. So, very cool. <laughs> um, and I, again, I think one of my favorite features on this outside the finish is the neck, uh, no stickity. No yeah. doubt. So if you'd like more information about this guitar, go to alamomusic.com. Good. Thanks yeah. for picking up where Sorry. I put that down. Uh, yeah, alamomusic.com. You can check out the photos online. You can chat with someone live about the guitar, get all of the features, and you know, ask questions. Will this work with this? I'm trying to do this style what have you, we're gonna help you kind of navigate through the choices to find the instrument to meet your needs. Because at the end of the day, you know what I always say, the very best guitar in the world is the one that has a mirror on it. Mm -hmm. And this definitely has a mirror on it. So yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to see some more fun, hijinks, behind the scenes stuff, extra videos, lessons, and tab content, we are doing that on our Patreon page. You can become an Alamo Music Insider by clicking on the link in our description below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like I said before, and keep coming back. We will see you next time.